Carl Froch. Yeah. Carl Froch has taken swipe at Tyson Fury because of his recent antics. What's he said? Carl Froch, basically, you know, Fury's done these interviews talking about, it's all about money. I want to be on Forbes and all this yeah. type of nonsense. So Carl Froch has responded and said, all right, you're taking the money. That's great. But when your career's over, you, you want your legacy to be intact. Mm -hmm. He said, the fans are turning against you. It's sad to see. Deep down, I think you know you're hurting the sport. You're taking the money instead of being full of pride for the sport. I'll tell you something as well. You can have as much money as you want, but if you turn up to a Hall of Fame party next year, you won't be dining on the top table with me and my peers. You won't belong there with that CV. Bam! Bam! Finally, finally. More need to say it. I need a heavy, I need, I need couple, Smoke. couple legendary heavyweights to speak out as well. Yeah. And say that it's a letdown. I need someone like that he respects in Mike Tyson to come out and say. Lennox, bro. Lennox, no, but Lennox Bruno. is calm. Lennox living his life. Yeah, I'm true, saying true. that Mike Tyson <laughs> is a needle mover for, for him. In that's, a his, sense. that's his namesake. Yes, yeah, his namesake, you know what I mean? Because his name obviously wasn't Tyson, right? And they've decided. If he comes out and says, this is not how I imagine some, my namesake moving. Yeah. That changes everything because 100%. I know I, I I know that Fury has a lot of pride. I know that he's, there's, you know, again, he once goes around calling himself the Gypsy King mm. and he's has his eyes focused on something different where his eyes should be focused on Usyk. Like today, he done a poll on his Instagram saying who should he fight next? Bro, you would never believe the names. Usyk, yeah. um, AJ, Usyk, AJ. AJ won it. John Jones. No, John. at first it was Usyk. Usyk was um, the I think it was ended stand with, I think it ended with AJ winning. Oh, for God's sake. But John Jones being on there is insane. Is insane, because that just gives me a sign of what nonsense you could do next. You know, sometimes when you're about to do something ridiculous, you just sneak that name in. Mm. So no one kind of notices it, but it's like, I was always there. You know what I mean? And the John Jones one, you never know if he says, my UFC days that, are not finished. It's so jarring, because I'm look at i like, John Jones ain't even been talking this boxing thing up like that. That would be so unnecessary. It's random. It's random. Again, I know. I wait. I, John Jones wanted to fight um in Ghana or something. I, again, yeah. I'm not a UFC guy, but I think I saw something like that online somewhere. Yeah. So again, it kind of there's some small link, some oh, sort of trade. It's boring. It's boring. It's boring. Again, listen. Fury is. I, I'm happy. Frotch coming out. Yeah. He's saying go this, at him, bro. Saying you can't sit on the head table. And do you know how? Funny that will look, bro. If someone's guarding, you're doing gatekeeper settings. Fam, Obviously, chisora has got to be at the table. No, nah, because think about who's going to be there at that at those table. Those. No, I'm saying Chisora's is going to gatekeep the table and say, "So you can't sit there." He's going to come over mm. and Frotch is going to be like, <laughs> <laughs> Chisora is going to make sure that he doesn't sit down. But mm. who else is going to sit at the table then? Well, it's the legend. It's a Hall of Fame, bro. Yeah. Lennox Lewis and them man, and Holyfield, them man, yeah. Mike Tyson, like all the guys that done things properly will be there. And then there's going to be you. You want to sit with them man up there and they're like, nah, dog. Well, all right. You sit down there with them man. That I'm going to ask you an uncomfortable conversation. Okay. In the UK currently in this crop, yeah. Mm. Like of all the heavyweights we're talking about, we've got Wilder, we've got AJ, we've got Fury. Is anyone getting past that red rope to kind of sit with the man them? As far as what decorated careers go? Yeah, like, are you going to let, like, I know Klitschko from the last of the... I think uh, Klitschko is. Klitschko just walks through to say, oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, I mean... But, I mean, two-time unified is is on paper. It's heavy. Gonna just, it's, it's a heavy... So they'll open up the rope and say... I believe, on, I believe so. A yeah. two-time unified champion. Yeah. I don't think... There's other guys in there that would have... Oh, what do you call no, it? A two-time champion? Is, what I'm saying is there's other guys who will be at that top table that would have had less. Fury will be there as a two-time champion. Two-time unified. Okay. So Fury, so that's AJ's. Two time One, unified. You, and he's undisputed. He had an undisputed. No. No, he didn't have undisputed. Being he was unified. unified. What do you call it? One time unified. Unified one time and he got the, One, the, and the yeah, WBC. Two time. Might have to let him sit two time there, champ. So. Is the, I guess it's, I don't know if it's. Sit there, innit? Two time unified. I'm just saying. But then I reckon. Fury where might Frotch, be able to sit there. But still. where Frotch is coming from is that it's, it's on the names and the stuff you've done as champ. Yeah. And I think where he's brought things into like a cheaper space. Yeah, with what he's doing now. As much as AJ's not, you know, you won't say he's like stand out from this era at the moment. He still behaved like a champion when he was champion. He could lean over the rope and have a strong conversation. Hey, what's going on? You don't let me. Oh, they, he's, if he's not at the top table, he's not far from it. Yeah, he's like. But he's, he might, they might not let him in just on the way he behaved as champion. And that would, all, that would be the only thing that it is. Mm. Because they're like, okay, it's like, for example, like you've done a night against Klitschko. You did Wilder. 
one too many times. Yeah. Then it's like, outside of that, what the hell's happened? So it's two, it's two nights or two free nights, but two names that would make him one, make his one a bit more like fallible sometimes, in the combo. Yeah. Sometimes it's mad though, because this Hall of Fame thing, yeah. Because Frank Bruno ain't gonna be at the Hall of Fame with one belt. Yeah. The one time. Yeah. It's not just a case of what. It's like, bro, how did you do you hold the belt? And what's your legacy? Like, what's your name? Because there again, was your name solid enough that even re- regardless of that, we still get to sit here? No. Nah. Some some fighters, mm. well, like Mike Tyson, you'll say like, oh no, he collected belts, bro. Yeah, I'm saying, but then in terms of when he the challenges, I'm talking oh, about no, but the he challenges. Could, but he, in his in his time, he collected belts. But his legacy like outside his legacy, the whole thing around boxing is why. Is I a Mike, if that makes sense. Okay, so then got you. he gets there on other things that even like make sure that he's on the top table, if that makes sense. So it's like Mayweather and then the money side. This but is then, what I'm saying. But then like, a- so then AJ to his name would have what he did for British boxing. And he said, let me in. Yeah, Open yeah, up the road. I yeah, yeah. Back. I, I done something for this game. Boxing that on a Saturday at 10 o'clock. You look got dead. used to that. You yeah. look got used to that. O2 and that, that's my team. You Wembley. Yeah. Stadiums. When you're driving to, when you see, when you're driving to Heathrow Airport, you see my big picture on Sky. Remember, it was just there. Oh, snap. Yeah, 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 bro. Like you, you go over the flyover, you'll see me, fam. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So again, he was the face of British boxing at one time, and everyone was getting paid off the back of what he was doing. So you have to let man in. No, I hear it still. I mean, because that all that thing, because it plays a part, bro. Yeah, because what's happened is, is that the narrative keepers <laughs> have turned their tune from oh that one night in Dusseldorf. So now being, when are you gonna fight someone, bro? And you know me, I was, I was the king of that. Bro, that man can't wait to tell you about one night in bloody nah, Dusseldorf. I, I was the king. The Dusseldorf conversation, don't tell, bro. I listen. I was tooting that horn, and then now you, now we're here, and we're like, and if AJ fury. beats Wilder, that that those wins over Wilder, yeah, they become they become. So yeah, the top table, you don't there yet, dog. I just a funny thing that I saw the other day, bro. Um, when Wilder was like starting out, yeah, it's hilarious. He said, "Ah, uh, um, if I get five thousand followers on on Facebook, this is when he's a fresh fighter. I fight a fan, like I fight a fan, <laughs> bro." I seen it. That's funny. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro! He said, "Yeah, thanks for these fans, bro." This guy uppercut a room fan, fam. <laughs> I died. <laughs> I, I said, I said. Oh, so you've been a crook from the beginning of time. <laughs> I said, you just, you've been looking Wait. for loopholes and ways out your whole... You don't remember this one time this guy said something disrespectful to him on the internet and he met up with him and just beat oh, him he up. beat the hell out of Beat him. the crap in the gym. <laughs> Absolutely. Bro, the guy was on the floor. He was he sparking this guy. He beat him up. Bro. <laughs> he beat him. He's very mad. And with very the windmill mad. punches as well. <laughs> nah, nah. Wilder was out of control. Listen. Anyway, let's be bad. Um... Just last one now, Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao's he's gonna end his career going to the Olympics, man. Oh my God, <laughs> that's all I can say, bro. Whoa, why? I don't understand the the the. I just don't get how. What? How? Needles. What do you mean needles? Just too many needles. For flip's sake, man. Too many needles. It has to be, bro. I don't understand how. How does? It has to be crack. Because you don't need to do... This is what I'm calling it, bro. There's no reason for you to be... Bro, you're a big man with a beard now, yeah? You pulling up at the Olympics with all the youngsters in an Olympic village. Bro, you're already a legend. This gold medal is unnecessary. If you're still chasing the ghost of of Mayweather... Mayweather's not dead or not, but I'm saying you're chasing... Because of what happened, yeah? You still want it, bro. Enough's enough. (laughs) Enough is enough. And you know what the killer is? Our Philippines that say, go on. Go They're going to write. Bro, imagine you're an up and coming fighter. You just want to just get your career going. You figured out, yeah, the Olympics is the route. And you're going up against Manny freaking Pacquiao, fam. He, what you None of this it? makes sense to me. Why is Manny Pacquiao? This is wrong, bro. This is the height of corruption. I remember there was that one time we saw the um, Somalian girl that was running in the. <laughs> <laughs> she was running. That's someone's daughter, <laughs> and bro. she went fast, bro. And it was crazy. We were watching that, saying, "Look at corruption mm. bearing his face." Now we're gonna see it again. Manny's gonna pull up, yeah. And again, but, someone that used what, to look up to him is gonna be there with him. But what's mad though is that man. I've seen a lot of people saying they don't know that he's gonna win. 
he better win. He has to win. But He's the fact is, smoke that everyone. I know, but the the high impact, the high speed of uh, the amateur game in terms of touch, 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 point scoring. Like Pacquiao's gonna be like, no, nah, I'm. I'm looking for the big shot because he's a pro. No, because now they w- don't wear head guards. They're proper. I know what you're saying, but the pro game versus the amateur game is point scoring versus I'm trying to hurt you and knock you out. I really feel sorry because the job, I watched this documentary of people trying to qualify for the Olympics. Boxers. Seriously. It's it? it's not easy, bro. <laughs> there's that thing starts is there's it's a wait, wait, journey. Wait, wait, wait. You say that like you were considering doing it for yourself. No, nah, I just watched what, the documentary what, and I okay. got I even I by bro, by watching the documentary, I said, Oh, this is long. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like I'm not even fighting or nothing, but I said, This is ridiculous. Mm. There's so many fights, bro. There's 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 so much that happens before you even get to be selected for yeah. the Olympic team. So now you've been tooth and nailing it, yeah. Dragging yourself through to meet Manny Pacquiao in the first round, huh? <laughs> Not even like he's the final stage. He's just bro, the this... first round, Manny Pacquiao, the guy that Floyd fought. You ever played one of those games where you say this is rigged and you just send it back? Like, is, there's oh, yeah, no yeah, way yeah. it should be this hard so soon. It shouldn't be this hard so early. Yeah, my yeah, amateur yeah. career. <laughs> I'm taking big legendary shots. I'm in there with someone that's gone over how many rounds? Is yeah, this guy fought Miguel Cotto and <laughs> Manuel Marquez four times. What are we doing right now? I've been fighting for three years. Three years, bro. <laughs> I've just filled up. <laughs> what the hell is he doing? You're there. Oh. This would feel like the dream, the wildest nightmare. It's just like, I've expl- gentlemen, I've explained the rules in the dressing room and there's Manny Pacquiao over there and he's listening to the ref. Just, mm-hmm. With that mad little yeah. tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> Touch gloves. <laughs> he walks over there and you're both bouncing. And it's Manny freaking Pacquiao over there. And the and the corner just feels like, how have you paid for that? Who's funded this? Freddie Roach. He's in the corner. <laughs> so, he, he ain't even gone with the go with Olympic training. He's got his old Sick. guy, bro. Who's in your corner? Someone unknown to the boxing world. <laughs> <laughs> it's out of order. It's out of order. I'm telling you now, it's out of order, but I wish him well. I wish, as much as I wish him well, and I need him to win, I just hope he don't lose. Legacy wise, I hope he don't lose because that getting the be bronze medal is crazy. Mayweather's tweeting. He's tweeting. Mayweather um, has to. You know, Manny Pacquiao. He's a hell of a competitor. Uh, as you see, he <laughs> if for him to get into a hell of a competitor back over a third place, that's ugly. Um, he tried his best out there. Um, he a good little fighter. <laughs> World champions of what? <laughs> oh my days! Oh man! Listen, Shout out no allows though, man. We done our thing though, bro. We come to the end of this audio journey. Come on, man! This is what we do, fam. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Look after yourselves, you know. Um, again, let's shout out the sponsor, bro. Facts: disturbing London sports every time. Yeah, man, and you lot stay locked in. Wait, there's more content coming from us. Peace. Yo, people, thanks for watching the Undefeated Podcast. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, leave a comment, and all that good stuff, man. This is the place to be.